All right, so this is the Mars 3 Pro. So if you are looking at it and saying, well, that looks just like the Mars 3 non-pro, you would be correct. It actually is pretty much exactly the same thing. We do have this little pro wording here up front, which also says Ultra 4K 3D printer. But other than that, except for this filter that comes with it, it's practically the same thing. Now there is a few differences to it, and most of it has to do here with the screen, and it's not the resolution. So you do get the same 4K monochrome screen as the regular three but what's special about this one is that it has a Fresnel I think that's what it's pronounced like sheet before the screen itself so when the light goes to the screen it's straight out instead of just kind of going sideways and bouncing around so that translates to more accurate and even light distribution going up so that's one of the changes and the other change is that here on top and I'm gonna go ahead and take this plastic protection off. The very glass top layer is actually a scratch resistant screen protector. So it's an actual piece of glass that protects the screen itself and it is supposedly replaceable. But yeah, other than that, I think there might be a few things here and there, but as far as the whole construction is concerned, it's plastic on the base, just like before. We got a little some venting on the bottom, venting on the sides. On the back, we have the manufacturing sticker and this is where we're gonna plug in the power. On the front here, we can see a large, nice touch screen. We got the power button and the USB port where we're going to plug in our thumb drive. A logo up here on the top. This is metal. You guys can see our screen there. On this side, we've got a little plug there that says Elegoo on it. And this actually has that USB port where we're going to plug in our carbon filter. So I guess if you decided not to use it, you can just leave this plug in. We got a really beefy Z axis. It is a single linear rail. Everything is metal here, very heavy duty. And on the very top, we got a plastic cover. But yeah, looks pretty much just like the Mars 3, let's go ahead and plug this filter in here. So this should slide in there. There we go. Grab our power wire and we'll plug it in the back. Go ahead and hit the power button. All right, it's booting up. And there we go. So pretty quick boot up time. You can also see the carbon filter light up there in green light. And actually it is running. Let's see. Okay, so it's actually quite quiet. I can't even hear it. But the fans did come on inside the machine, which I preferred them being silent until you start printing. But yeah, I think that's actually another feature that the Pro has is it has more cooling. In any case, let's check out this touchscreen display. So this is the font that we have. It does look a bit different, maybe. We got tools. So this is where we're gonna move the Z axis up and down. Exposure. So this tests our screen on the top and we can go ahead and try that. So we'll click next. And it's going to draw up an image here, you guys can see on the top. So our screen does work and our UV lights work. This is where you can see the image there. So we'll go back. We got set to Z and this actually offsets the build plate where it starts. And we'll go a little more in depth with that when we level the build plate. We got a dedicated stop button and a tank clean button. So what tank clean is going to do is going to completely wide open the screen. Go ahead and try that. And so there's no image, it's just wide open UV rays. So this is good for solidifying whatever's left in the tank. So you can just peel it off and go back. And that's pretty much it here for this menu. And then we have system, which is information about the printer. Language, so it looks like either Chinese or English. We got service, and that's how to contact the company. And that's pretty much it. And then we got our print button, which is gonna read the USB port. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna level the build plate here. So let's go to tools, manual, and I'm gonna raise it up. A little bit and we'll install the build plate very easy and solid connection here so we're going to need our big allen wrench and what we're going to do is we're going to loosen these two bolts and that's going to release the build plate and it's kind of like on a spring and then i'm going to grab this manual and maybe choose about two three pages probably go with four and this is what we're going to use to gap the build plate to the screen so we're going to click home and that's going to bring it down and you guys will see it'll compress down and this is where it naturally wants to be. So now all you wanna do is kinda of line up the screen straight. It does rotate back and forth also, so align it up pretty well. And because there's a spring pushing down, it should be pretty flat on the paper all around. And if you do wanna help it, you can put a couple fingers around the, the build plate itself. But yeah, we're just gonna tighten up these bolts. So this paper should just slide out. And I think we're looking pretty good. Now one thing to remember, if you do start printing and you start having like a elephant foot, you know, just add more paper to set the gap higher. Or there's another way you can do the offset. So let's go ahead and bring this up. And that's this a set to Z. So I brought it up this much, but you could have brought it up just a point one. And then when you hit set Z, 
it'll confirm this position to start with. So it'll still home down where we put the paper, but it'll start the print, whatever we set the offset to. Like right now we're setting it with this huge gap. So let's go ahead and confirm. Even though we click home, it's still gonna go back down to where we set it with the paper. And to demonstrate that, let's go ahead and plug in our thumb drive. By the way, it does have a little light that glows. And we'll go back and click print. We'll see if there's any available models. So we got a couple rooks. So let's go ahead and start that. And you guys hopefully will see here that it should start pretty high up. And so as you can see, it's going up pretty high because that's where we set our offset to zero. And there it goes. So now it started. Hopefully that made sense. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Now I'm going to go back to the manual, home it. And just looking at it eye level, I can see that it's a little bit too close. So I'm just going to go ahead and raise it. 0.2 millimeters I think would be great because I can see the little crack all around and then I'm gonna set that as our new offset and there you go it's as simple as that guys and that's how you level the bed so let's go ahead and raise this thing up quite a bit and we'll install our vat and by the way we do have a little max there and you don't want to go over that because once the build plate goes in it it's gonna add more volume it can overfill but yeah these little feet here that sit they also fall right into the base so it's really easy to line it up it literally falls in into its place then we're going to tighten the two knobs on each side and just like that guys we're ready to print all right so we're going to use some elegoo water washable resin and this is ceramic gray and i love using water washable because it's much easier to post process and if you're just getting started i definitely recommend starting with this as the cleanup process only requires water and also at this point i should mention that you want to take all the safety precautions make sure you're in a well ventilated area and if you're going to touch the resin make sure you wear your gloves and also wear a mask so you don't breathe in any kind of particles so since i'm just going to pour the resin in not come in contact with it I'm not gonna put my gloves on and also you do want to shake up your resin really good so all the polymers mix up nicely and then we're just gonna pour in the resin right into the tub and you guys probably can't even see it from that angle but so yeah maybe that's a little better so all we got to do now is go back to the print button choose the roots that we found that were included with the printer and it will start printing push play and we'll take a closer look at the screen here in a second All right, so we are in the resin and everything looks good. So the first few layers are gonna be quite long because it tries to solidify it to the build plate. And then after about three, four layers, it's gonna go much quicker. So let's take a closer look at the screen. You guys can see here we have a preview of what layer we're printing at the moment. And we got the progress bar, we got 1%. And this is pretty tiny letters here, but we have the file name. And then we got time remaining, time passed, which is three minutes. And the layer we're on, which is four out of 1,000. And we have a stop pause which we're going to try out here in a second and settings if we click that we can see we got bottom layer and that's the first five layers at 30 seconds exposure time and then after that we got two and a half seconds for the whole print so yeah and you can adjust this by just clicking on it and then setting your parameter but yeah pretty simple and quite intuitive ui and the screen is not too big but it's you know pretty easy to push everything that you need and you guys can see here we are now doing two and a half seconds so it goes down one two and a half and then it goes up so yeah it should be boogieing along now and we got about two hours and 45 minutes left 